So this is supposed to be the 3D printer for everyone, the one that finally delivers on the promise of a true plug and play experience. Bamboo Lab make a pretty bold claim that you can go from a sealed box to starting your very first print in about 20 minutes. And frankly, that sounds like less of setup and more like a magic trick. Especially for anyone who's been in the hobby for a while, you know that an easy setup usually means hours of confusing manuals, leveling the bed with a piece of paper, and just hoping your first print doesn't end up looking like a bowl of spaghetti. And I must say, they do deliver on that. After about the first 13 minutes of unboxing this, I had the printer set up and starting its first calibration, leveling itself and making sure that it was all ready. The instructions were very simple and straightforward, and it really took no time at all. And I, this is with absolutely no experience in the hobby at all. I've been around 3D printers and seen them, but I've never actually operated one myself. So for me, this is the exact experience I was looking for, something that I could just plug up and get printing so that I could start adding and incorporating some 3D elements to my builds that are hand-built as a way to just increase some of the depth and character of some of these works I do. The setup was very easy, as well as getting logged into the Bamboo website. I just connect it to your Wi-Fi and log in, and then you can choose from the Bamboo Handy app and website from thousands of different prints. Uh, the first thing that I started with was the pan flute that they have. Now, I did have an issue with this, and I think it really comes down to user error, not the machine. Um, I don't think I had the filament in there quite right because it started trying to print, and about halfway through the first layer is when it actually started extruding the filament. And then where I had it positioned on my table was a little wobbly, which I think also contributed to the way that it looks, where you can just really see each of those layers and how it bubbles out and doesn't quite form. So this flute did not work at all, but it does look pretty cool. And for being my very first 3D print, I'm still pretty happy with it. Now from there, I went on to print a small Owlbear Mini as the cup. And I must say that I was very impressed with this. As when it was done, I couldn't even really see layer lines except for on the very top of its head. The detail came out great. And I mean, for, for what I use it for, this is absolutely perfect. So from there, I wanted to kind of push it with some more detailed stuff, so I did this campfire next. And it's a piece of scattered terrain or something to incorporate into a diorama. It's really perfect. As well as some of the bridge and a couple other minis, because I wanted to see how well those came out. Which I will add that I am using the 0.4 millimeter nozzle that the machine comes with, and I do plan on getting the 0.2 millimeter here probably pretty soon. Uh, but really even for that, the detail on these is great and with a little bit of paint and sanding or you really won't be able to see the layer lines, especially once you've got it textured as well. So here are a few of those prints as well as a grumpy hippo that my wife requested. And then I went ahead and painted up the Albert too because I wanted to see how well it came out. So this is just a quick little paint job just to see. And I will also add that I am not sponsored and Bamboo did not promote me in any way to make this video. Uh, I bought this with my own money as a way to get into the hobby and a way to add more to the build that I'm already doing here on the channel. But here we have a couple or many that I designed on Hero Forge and printed out. One at the scale that it automatically cuts it out and then one sized up just a little bit. Now, I did have an issue with breakage mostly because of the supports that this automatically generated. And my guess is that it's just how I designed the mini, has some fragile bits. But this is something I'll be playing with some more, trying to get a good clean build out of it. As I learn more about the hobby and the printing experience as it is. Um, but anyway, that's about all I have to share at this point. If you do are interested in my development with this hobby, let me know and I'll be happy to make some more videos about this. Um, overall, I would absolutely recommend this product if you're trying to get into the hobby and looking for a cheap entry level that's easy to use printer. Um, I think I spent 240 on this one uh, with the filament, and I am using the eSun Plus PLA for that as well, in case you're interested. Um, but overall, I'm very happy with the product and looking forward to what I can do in the future with it. So. If you enjoyed that and found it helpful or interesting, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.